Australia as the only son of parents who were both prominent physicians, and he was brought up in the old style with emphasis on formality and impeccable manners. He received his early education at the King's School in Sydney. I don't know whether those two facts are actually related. One of Australia's most prestigious private boarding schools for boys, where he was subjected to the usual discipline associated with such institutions. Received a very broad education and developed a deep sense of loyalty to the Crown and to what was then part of the British Empire. Quite early on in his preliminary years at school, he developed an almost overwhelming passion for music, which was to last all his life. It also became evident that he possessed considerable talent, to the extent that on leaving school, he had to make the difficult choice of either, like his parents, pursuing a career in medicine, or continuing his musical studies in the hopes of becoming a concert pianist. In the end, perhaps under parental influence, he chose medicine. He attended the medical school at the University of Sydney and graduated in 1954. After three years of postgraduate training in Australia, like many of his colleagues at the time, he travelled to the UK for further training, where he spent seven years. He eventually decided to specialise in orthopaedics and was appointed to positions under some of the leading orthopaedic surgeons of the day, including the great Sir Reginald Watson Jones, with whom Jeff shared a special affinity, as both played the piano and both enjoyed a drop of the hops. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. He had an exceptional training in the specialty of orthopaedics and was uniquely qualified in that he was one of the few surgeons in Canada to be admitted to the fellow as a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, Canada and Australia. In addition, following the completion of his training at Oswestry, where he first met his close friend and associate, Dr. Norman Galbke, Jeff was selected to write the highly prestigious and somewhat academic degree, MCH, Master of Surgery, from the University of Liverpool. He not only passed, but further distinguished himself by being awarded the coveted gold medal, which was only very rarely awarded to candidates for exceptional excellence. Jeff came to Canada in 1964, and following four years of practice in Hamilton, Ontario, moved to North Vancouver, where he established a consulting practice in association with Dr. Norman Gelke. Together with Dr. Les Bartlett, they were responsible for laying the foundations of a very busy and highly regarded orthopedic department at Lions Gate Hospital. In 1987, he retired from active surgical practice and accepted a position as consultant in orthopedics at the Workers' Compensation Board in Vancouver, where he established a reputation for his diagnostic acumen, a remarkably wide knowledge of medicine, and his well-written and detailed reports. <laughs> 